Hi, here I am with uh, the new video. Well, in this video, I will not be talking about uh, KE Jetronic because uh, for a second time I get uh, a question, a question that doesn't concern KE Jetronic. Uh, it this question was about uh, a Mercedes uh, C Class W204. Well, this is how it is. This, these cars uh, have been uh, manufactured, correct me if I'm wrong, from 2006 up to 2015, something like uh, that. As, as far as I know and uh, the last time it was something uh, I think it was uh, also uh, some C-class well let me tell you something uh, the man told me he has uh, idle issues and so on and so on well in these cases, I cannot help you. This is something where I, I simply uh, am uh, uh, powerless. Why? You see, I speak and I, I talk about KE uh, Jetronic. And this system, this is a mechanical system, which you can repair yourself in, uh, in your own garage or some, somewhere outside. Uh, and uh, that's it. For this system, it is mandatory to have a, a multimeter and a pressure gauge. And some common tools. Well these newer models as uh, the S, uh, it is uh, mandatory for a cage to have a pressure gauge for these cars it is mandatory to have uh, an OBD2 scanner because uh, starting from 95 as I as I would say uh, it uh, the it uh, was uh, the Euro three norm, and uh, all cars uh, had to to have uh, the OBD two port. And now, look, everything you do on your car, if you want to do something on these cars, you must have. Uh, as I have already said, an OBD2 scanner. Everything you do, I can just guess. For example, in, in a, a situation like uh, as I start the car, the car revs uh, the uh, revs up uh, up to 2,000 RPM. It uh, s uh, stays. Uh, for some 10 seconds, something like that, and uh, it uh, starts uh, working uh, properly. <sighs> well, I can only only guess uh, whether it's about the throttle body. For example, it got clocked and it, ha it has to be cleaned. Uh, for, well, I cannot say, really. But what you can do, you can buy it. And you, if you, if you want uh, to do, if you want to repair these cars, you must have this uh, OBD2 scanner. You can just uh, buy the scanner. You you plug it in uh, the OBD2 port. You now you have also an application for uh, the cell phone, and uh, then uh, you can read out uh, the codes. And if if the application doesn't say it's, for example, the TPS, faulty TPS, or for example, uh, uh, crankshaft positioning sensor, or it's about the coolant temperature sensor, 
or it's uh, about uh, the O2 sensor and so on and so on. It is going to give you a code, for example, PO0530. <laughs> for example, <laughs> I just guess. And then you Google that code and you will see what it is about. Now, as you see what it is about and uh, you eventually repair the part or you buy a brand new one or a used one, uh, it's up to you to, to decide. Now, the next step for you is uh, to erase the code. That's, that's uh, the must. If you want your car to run properly, you can, for example, mount a new part, you can start the car and you will experience th the same issues because uh, uh, the, the ECU doesn't uh, know that uh, the part has been replaced already and uh, that it has to read uh, a new signal and not uh, the, the existing uh, one. So that's everything. And how you're going to re, uh, to erase the code? Well, <laughs> either either from the car, or you will have to use uh, a laptop co computer and uh, a, a software for that. And uh, that's why I cannot help you. So long story short, for all the newer models uh, of uh, Mercedes and not just Mercedes or other cars, I cannot help you because you need the OBD2 scanner and you need uh, a software that is going to erase the code. So my dear ones, if you enjoyed this video, then please don't click uh, the button skip add. It is going to help me a lot. And Till the next video, happy Mercedes-ing. Bye.